Okay, so in the Bookmap Platform Details webinar, uh, we're going to go through uh, what Bookmap is showing you uh, and uh, kind of define and outline uh, the visualization of Bookmap. Okay, so it's a um, pretty unique platform, and uh, there, you know, it, it looks like there's a, a lot of detail uh, and a, a lot of um, information here. And there is, uh, it's actually pretty simple though, and I'll, I'll go through it and, and I'll show you. Uh, in the demo here, but let's start off here with the risk disclaimer. Uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, let's go to bookmap.com for more information. You get a 14-day free trial. It comes with education. You get access to the advanced live order flow webinars. Um, that starts in about um, 25 minutes, uh, and then the um, uh, you also get access to the Bookmap educational course, and uh, there are a lot of other resources uh, as well. So uh, there's really no risk to it. Uh, try it out for 14 days. It's fully functional, uh, and then uh, you've got the education that comes along with it, so you understand how to start to use it in the in the uh, in the market. So we really drill down in the uh, uh, in the uh, advanced order flow webinars to get into what bookmap is showing you. Okay, so this is where you can find bookmap. <clears throat> Go to the pricing uh, tab or free trial here and 14-day uh, trial period. Uh, you can see the bookmap basic, bookmap advanced, and the quant. Now, there's really only one version, bookmap basic. These other versions have different features. Okay, so for example, the advanced the difference here is the ability to trade right from the chart, okay, that functionality, uh, as well as a host of proprietary indicators that we have. There are other advantages as well, um, but uh, if you want to see that, you can click here and get the complete uh, comparison. Now, if you are, are new here and um, you just need, uh, you want to try Bookmap, but you don't have a futures data feed, you can uh, get maybe a uh, click here and get a, a demo to a data feed as well. All right, so two weeks of book map and two weeks of a data feed, uh, and that should get you up and running. So at least you can try it out and see if this is something that uh, uh, helps you uh, m make more informed trading decisions. Okay, uh, more information on the website here. Uh, if you just go to the uh, beginning, there's an intro uh, video. Scroll down here. Uh, this is where you can register for the webinars, as you guys know. Uh, a, f a bit further down, you see the platform, the benefits, um, and then the link to try uh, testimonials, book map for equities. Okay, we also have equities. Uh, it's an excellent data feed. Uh, I can, uh, if anyone here trades equities, let me know, and um, uh, we can uh, look at a few equities because some really unique information uh, there in the equities uh, because those markets are usually a bit thinner and the larger players stand out a bit a bit more. Okay. Uh, also, some of the advantages here with that uh, NASDAQ total view, uh, the depth of, of market is uh, complete, uh, full full depth of market, uh, as well as what we have with uh, uh, some of the uh, data providers, okay, connectivity, okay. We're not a data provider. We're just a software platform. So you will need to connect Bookmap with one of these data providers here, all right. Uh, so, for example, uh, I am using Rhythmic, okay, and... Um, uh, Rhythmic also offers something very unique here, okay? It's it's similar to this DX feed up here for NASDAQ total view, okay? Uh, CQG offers this as well. They offer full depth of market, all right? So the limit order book, you know, when you usually look at a dome, uh, let's, in fact, let me, uh, let me bring up a dome here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to have to bring it up here. Okay. So look at there's you can see 15 here in, in oil and in crude oil, all right, uh, on the offer and on the bid here. Okay, so that's a dome. Uh, this is what we're usually accustomed to looking at. Okay, now take a look at uh, what I've got here displayed in Bookmap uh, in crude. All right, Oop, that's gold. Sorry, go to crude. All of these levels here are live. All of them. Okay, so there's no limit to it. Uh, so if I want to know what price is doing way up here at uh, at 56.25, uh, 
uh, you know, this is 25 points uh, away from the market or more than that, uh, or ticks, um, you know, you can see that liquidity. All right, so that's uh, that's what I mean with full depth. Uh, it's an excellent um, uh, CQG also offers that for COMEX and NYMEX. Uh, Rhythmic also well, Rhythmic offers it for COMEX, NYMEX, and CME products too. So, um, uh, just uh, want to make you aware of that. Uh, so um, anyway, that's uh, where you can find uh, all about the uh, data feeds, uh, how to connect Bookmap. Uh, and then the pricing and the free uh, trial here, okay? And some of our partners are down here. Uh, you can also follow us here on Twitter, at bookmap underscore pro, and on YouTube, okay? There's an intro video here, uh, some intro uh, videos playlist here, okay? They're very short videos. Uh, features and components playlist here, so you can click on the link at the top, and this will take you to the entire playlist. Right uh, to understand what you're or how to use Bookmap. Now the order flow video snippets. I would suggest you watch these. That this is what we go through in the advanced um, uh, order flow uh, webinars. Okay, uh, this kind of phenomena and uh, context of the market. Right, so understanding the order flow, and these are just very quick videos that go that cover the same concepts. We go through it in depth uh, in the. Uh, uh, in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. Um, we're up at all-time highs in the NASDAQ. I think I'll look at the NASDAQ. Uh, that's been what we've been doing lately, and um, I've seen some pretty good stuff. So um, let's go back and uh, take a look here. Okay. All right, here's book map. All right, so what am I looking at? Well, let me zoom in just a little bit more. Here's our 9:30 open here, uh, New York time. Okay, you can see the um, the aggressive buying that comes in, charges up through into these areas, and it's been a nice uh, nice uh, trending day at least uh, to the upside so far. Okay, uh, and um, it's not such a great trending day to be honest, but uh, looking at the profiles here. Anyway, uh, let me get into some of the details here. So. This looks like, and it might be overwhelming for a lot of you guys if you're not accustomed to looking at uh, a book map chart, okay? It's actually really simple stuff. There's three pieces of information, key pieces of information being displayed here, okay? One is historical best bid and offer, okay? And uh, I'm going to turn off volume dots, and I'm going to turn on, um, leave that on, and let's get rid of the heat map. And indicators okay historical best bid and offer that is it okay it's as simple as that just what was the best bid what was the best offer recorded okay current market is right here this is your current best bid and offer all right so now we also display the volume on the historical best bid and offer where did it trade okay that's what the volume dots okay so that's the second layer of information that's it all right this is similar uh, to a footprint chart in, in a lot of respects. It actually shows quite a bit more than, an, than a footprint chart, and I'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, and then uh, the last item here is the heat map, okay? This is a recording of the depth of market, okay? So all it is is, let me zoom in here, and we'll, I'll review this again, but uh, note up here, like high liquidity up here, at, well, let's say 63.13, 98 contracts are up here, All right? It's bright white, okay? So that's what uh, is showing here in the, in the order book, okay? It's being recorded, and it's being projected on the chart historically. So that's it. So now I understand where they actually really want to offer. The larger players want to offer up at these areas. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, go into it a little bit further and uh, show a candlestick chart because I want to show you what uh, what we're missing uh, with candlestick charts, footprint charts, uh, and other charts because they just they're they're not offering the level of transparency here uh, to make more informed trading decisions. Okay, footprint charts are great. I I, I like them very much. Uh, that's that's not the uh, um, uh, the problem here uh, is that I have anything against them. <laughs> it's, 
but it's much more about just being objective about the, the data and the information. The problem here is with a footprint chart as well as a, um, uh, a candlestick chart or any other sort of derivative of time, price, bar rotation, um, you know, it could be, uh, you know, a bar rotation chart. It could be a, um, you're looking at, um, uh, you know, volume uh, chart or, or you're looking at, uh, um, you know, Renko bars, et cetera. It still has some sort of rotation involved in it. And that obscures the, um, uh, the well, there's just less transparency. Okay. So, and how, how is that? Well, here's just looking at this five minute candlestick chart. It's the same thing on other charts. This is open high, low close of a five minute period. That's it. What we're trying to read here is the pressure of the buyers and sellers by the wicks and the bodies. And that's asking a lot here because uh, we have no idea where the volume is actually trading and we don't know what kind of volume it is. And, um, uh, we, we don't know uh, how much, okay? We do have a volume subchart like most, most trading platforms. However, that's just giving you the overall volume and the spikes, okay? Like for example here, where did the volume really trade? Did it trade in the breakout right here? Or did it trade at the top most of it? Or did it trade somewhere here where we get the pullback right to it in the middle of the candle, okay? Those are all questions that we're gonna answer here in just a minute, okay? Uh, it looks like it it came back into this area because look at how buyers are stepping in again, right? And I'm just I'm just guessing though, right? We're gonna know factually here, and that's what allows for these kinds of trading decisions. Okay, you would if you were trading off this candlestick chart, you'd be missing it already. Okay, you would have been getting in up here, and and all of this other risk here, in like four or five points in the Nasdaq, you'd be uh, you'd be missing. Okay, so that's like 20 ticks. Anyway. Uh, let's uh, just add on the uh, best bid and offer. Okay. Okay. So here we go. All right. Now best best bid and offer. Uh, we we're starting to understand now uh, microstructures uh, in this candlestick that uh, uh, is that are unfold have unfolded or are unfolding. Okay. So uh, here here's the uh, the quick move to the upside. Uh, we kind of uh, went sideways here. I mean, this looks like a short on, a, on your candlestick chart. You see your double top here. You see the, the wick. Uh, you see the, the selling coming in. Uh, you actually, we close down below it. Okay. This this is a reversal pattern in your candlestick chart. <laughs> well, you, you guys are getting, I mean, those, those that went short here, those guys are going to be getting uh, stopped out up in these areas. I mean, we see the this is very indicative of a stop run to the upside right here. Anyway, um, so why is the microstructure important? Okay, and historical best bid and offer captures it very nicely. So let me show you why. Okay, and this is just uh, the the basics. Here we see consolidation, and you can draw on the chart here. Okay, see, so note this call it consolidation zone here. Okay, well, we traded up, we came back down out of this range here, it broke out over here, it came back down and went sideways within this range, and then it broke out again here. Okay, all of that data is lost within this candlestick. You have no idea. This is just kind of like a, a doji or, or standal, standard candlestick uh, uh, candle here. Okay, but uh, what we want to understand is how it broke the structure and, and where the transactions are, and then also how are they bidding and offering in this area. That's going to give us a lot of insight to this move and, and the, uh, the breakdown of this move here. Okay, so let's turn on the volume dots. Okay, and uh, here we go. Now we can see where the transactions are actually taking place. Okay, this so looks pretty good. It looks pretty good to the upside, as, as you can see here. Uh, we see more volume trading at higher highs, okay? That's usually how a trend works, okay? Actually, you start to see a lot of selling coming in as well, okay, at some of these lower high or higher lows, I should say, okay? So we're starting to see like um, uh, maybe a, a reversal, a potential reversal, okay? Now we break down below here and then look in this area here, okay? Do we see a lot of selling? There's some right, but it's countered by the buying, 
And then look at this area right here. Do we see a lot of selling? No. Okay. This is where the, the bulls uh, can take charge, and they do. Right, they break the structure right here. There's like a little double top right here. Okay, if we zoom in a little bit more, okay, you can see it, or you can see the, the sideways action, and we have more volume trading up above here. Okay, we have less selling down here. The bulls are in control. Okay, we're going to come up and we're going to test this area up here. Okay, and that's exactly what we do. Okay, and uh, and we get a, a bit of a breakthrough uh, to the upside. All right. Okay, so that's what uh, uh, the kind of uh, transparency you can see here that you're missing with these uh, bar rotations and candlesticks. Okay, you're also going to miss this kind of fine detail and understanding of what's going on in the market um, in your footprint chart because it's going to be rotating back and forth as well. You're not going to see this microstructure, and that's a problem. Okay, we if if you didn't catch the breakout here, look at the nice pullbacks here. Okay, one and two. Okay, if we're looking for testing the high, get the test, probably uh, uh, take take partial profit here, uh, and then try to hold the rest for the for a runner. Um, you, you know, you would have uh, if you moved your stop up, you would have been probably uh, uh, hit at break even, but you would have gotten your partial here. Okay, or uh, if you saw that uh, uh, this breakout to the upside and you start to see this move to the downside, you might have reversed. Okay, because now you can see that the bears are in control very clearly here. Okay, we're looking for a few different things to happen in the change in the order flow. Okay, but um, we want to see more volume trading at lower lows. We want to see structure broken. Okay, and we start to break that, or we test it at least. Okay, and then uh, we have more volume starting to trade at a lower area here. Okay, so now. Here's where the trap is, okay? We come right back up and we see the bear, the, the, these people who, who sold the breakdown here, okay? They're gonna get stopped out on the way up, okay? We see the, the aggressive buying coming in, okay? And, they, and they, they're still up here, okay? So this would be another uh, uh, change in the order flow. We see it over here and we see it over here. Anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, getting maybe a, a bit ahead of myself here in, um, in general, and we're just looking at traded volume, right? And, and understanding what's going on with the traded volume. Okay. What about where are they bidding and offering? And that's going to uh, give us a lot of insight here. Okay. And let's just take the candlestick off here. Okay. Uh, looking at the, um, at the chart here, this is a this is a chart we're we're pretty accustomed to looking at, okay? volume and you know uh, historical price, okay, where price traded, okay. We're just showing the uh, uh, microstructure with historical best bid and offer. Um, now you, we can before I get into the um, uh, into the heat map here and uh, liquidity map. Uh, let's just zoom into some of these areas because we want to see some of the detail here. Here's the same the same pattern, um, you know, that we were just looking at before. This is what we go through uh, in the advanced order flow webinar. They they hit the bid pretty hard. Uh, they, then you see the, the the bulls come in here, but then look at this this retest here. It's actually it retested a few times, right? And where are the sellers now? Okay, they're not here. Okay, looking for it to reverse here, uh, looking for more buyers to trade above, and we're looking for above this little swing here. That's where we want to see the buyers, and then here they are. Okay, and uh, we're looking for up to the upside here. Okay, all right. Um, now, let's go zoom into some of these areas and show you just what we're recording here. Okay, we're recording all the action. Okay, so these little dots here, these little green dots are market buy orders. That you want to know exactly what it was, we can hover over this using the data tip tool and we can see it, okay? Market sell orders, the red dot here. This is, they took liquidity off of the best bid, okay? Uh, that's how it works. When you hit the market uh, sell button, you're taking liquidity off of the uh, buyer here that's providing liquidity, okay? It's the same here with the, uh, with the aggressive market buy is taking liquidity off of a seller. This is where the, the transaction takes place. Okay. Note how we're giving you every single bit of detail here and we're down at microsecond level. 
so all of the data is here. Every event is recorded. This is a tremendous advantage, okay, especially if you're trading algorithmically. Um, but uh, as I zoom out, note what we're showing and displaying. Okay, we're giving it you an overall uh, view of the uh, of the volume, and uh, the pie display here is showing you, uh, like this big pie display over here, is showing you that the majority of it was selling and there was some buying. Okay, about 25% looks like is buying and the rest was selling. Okay, so it's all still here. All that data is still here. It's just that we've uh, recorded it. Uh, I'm sorry, we have recorded it, but we're, we're showing you the, uh, the overall, okay, the overall delta of that volume as you zoom out. All right, now to get into the heat map, uh, last thing, and then, uh, and then we'll, um, we'll call it a day here. Okay, so that's really an important aspect of price, okay, is to understand the volume. What's equally important is to understand the auction. Where are they bidding and offering? Okay, we want to know that. If you show up to an auction and you don't know that information, uh, well, you're at a disadvantage. You might overpay for something. You might uh, underpay, or you know, for something. Whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, if you're, you, you want that kind of transparency. So, how do we usually find that transparency? That's in the limit order book. Okay, and uh, we can see in the dome here. This is the book map dome current order book. Here's our price ladder. Uh, this is uh, a best bid and offer reflected here as well. And last traded volume is right here. Okay. And, uh, and we can see the, uh, the liquidity here. Okay. These are contracts up here at 6320, 121 contracts, big player up here. Okay. We, we know that with our large lot tracker, uh, uh, which is a uh, proprietary indicator. Okay. So uh, look at down here at uh, 6312. Looks like a lot of liquidity here. Big big player down here with 95 contracts. Okay, this is uh, we're starting to understand what's going on here. Now the problem with this um, is the um, uh, with the dome is that these numbers change. They change all the time, and it, and we we have no clue what was there once it updates. Okay, there's a lot to remember here, and that's a that's an issue. Okay, so uh, how Bookmap solves that issue is with the heat map. Okay, so we take these areas of high liquidity and they'll be painted in this window here in the heat map. Okay, so you'll see the, the heat map change in this window here. Okay, that's the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, now this is recorded and, and uh, then it's plotted onto the chart historically. So now I'm starting to understand where they are in the in the auction here on the offer, and these little striations in the um, in the heat map, that's just showing the adding and pulling of liquidity. That's all it's showing. But that's offering us a lot of uh, transparency here. We're starting to understand these players and their intent to trade at these levels. Okay, so for example, we can answer this question right here at 6312. Did this these players here providing high liquidity? Do they want to trade? We're going to answer it here in real time. No, they don't. They don't want to trade here. Okay. Why is that? Well, because they're pulling liquidity when price comes right down toward them. Okay. They're they're um, uh, they're adding it and pulling it. But look at look at how they pulled this liquidity right when the the sellers uh, hit the bid into this area here. Okay. So these these players at this level did not trade. Okay, we just see large uh, aggressive selling just took place here. So maybe we'll come down and now test a higher liquidity down in this area, okay, at 63.10 and three quarters, okay? That would be the target for the sellers, okay? That's the way they know they'll find buyers, okay? And there we are. Now, did these, these guys want to trade? No, they did not, okay? Now they're showing a little more interest here, 63.10 and a half. Okay, so it's just understanding the auction and just reading it, just like we were now in real time. Okay, understanding that uh, uh, the market needs liquidity to trade. It's searching for it. The sellers are searching for the buyers. Okay, the buyers, uh, you know, if they're looking for sellers, up they're up here now at 63.13. Right. So now we have the complete picture of what's going on uh, in uh, with this instrument. Okay, we understand 
where they're committed with the with the volume dots. We understand microstructure and how structure breaks and where the volume is trading within that to give context uh, to uh, a potential uh, breakouts or, or trending environment, uh, as well as understanding the intent of the traders at these levels. Okay, this is a very, very clear an objective view of the marketplace. Okay, it's not it's not an indicator, it's not a derivative. It's just the market, and uh, and we're understanding uh, the market and reading uh, uh, the um, uh, the intent of the traders in the auction and uh, and their transactions. Okay. What is the number in the brackets, uh, Tom? Okay. Uh, well, this is um, a new feature. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to send you to a video, uh, and, um, uh, because this is a unique new feature and, um, it's, it's going to be extrapolated into, uh, even, uh, 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 more information in the next release of Bookmap. Uh, but, um, basically this number, the white number is showing you the aggregate of the last traded volume. And then we're seeing them if they continue to like hit the bid or lift the offer, uh, you'll see it aggregate here in um, in the parentheses. All right. All right. Let me uh, let me find that video for you, and let me show you where you can find these videos. Okay. So uh, book map um, on YouTube. We'll scroll down here. Let's click on uh, features and components. Okay. This is the playlist here. We'll scroll down here, and uh, our new feature is right here: the aggregate volume counter. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this into the chat for you. All right, it's about four minutes, three minutes, 52 seconds. And uh, uh, yeah, it, it'll explain it in detail. It's a really nice feature. Um, a lot of trade, a lot of professional traders have asked for this. So that's why we're providing it is to really understand. Now, this is very detailed order flow. Uh, understand like, you know, hitting the bid, lifting the offer. Um, and, um, you know, these are traders that are, are very aggressive, looking for just a tick or two uh, in a lot of cases, okay? Uh, they want to understand where, where those uh, little um, micro rotations may take place, okay? All right, guys. Well, that's the overall. Uh, let's, uh, let's call it a day. If you are in the, uh, um, the book map uh, uh, trial, uh, then uh, jump over to the uh, webinar starting uh, in just a minute here. Uh, and then we'll go through the advanced order flow analysis. Okay. Okay. It's a, it comes with a free trial uh, for 14 days. All right, guys. Yeah. Take care. And uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow.